The NCP has blamed the Congress for all alleged anomalies in the Garo Hills Autonomous District Council, admitting that there may be irregularities in the GHADC state NCP president and Kambagre MLA Saleng Sangma said extension of the GHADC term for one and a half year by the previous Congress government few years back is the root of all the corruption in the Autonomous District Council. The statement of the MLA comes at a time when the issue of alleged corruption in GHADC has become a burning issue in the state with the BJP state leadership continuously targeting the NPP-led EC in the council over the corruption charges. It seems like it all started when uh, there was a Congress-led you know, uh, government in the district council. They were extended uh, in the name of like, you know, uh, district council territory, all those NBC demand and all, for another one and a half years. Whereas they said there was no such emergency to extend, but it seems like once they have started, you know, all those sitting MDCs and all, um, they were not properly, you know, uh, doing their job sincerely. But, you know, at that moment, actually, there was a lots of random appointment hap had happened, actually. Well, Saleng maintained that once the term of the EC was extended, the sitting MDC, MDC that time did not do the job properly and there were random appointments in the council. Meanwhile, Saleng Sangma also cautioned the BJP not to mislead people on the matter. Being in the MDA partner, especially the BJP, who is in the cabinet now, since uh, all the key issues are being discussed in the cabinet, uh, you see, uh, BJP should not keep on poking actually. It's like poking at their own nose, you know, which is not good. Uh, if there is anything wrong, they should have, they could have brought that issues to the table, discuss with the seniors, discuss with the ministers. That way, you know, things could have been solved. If there is any, you know, a, any anomaly, especially uh, the developmental part, uh, whoever is, uh, you know, like uh, doing the RTI or maybe uh, putting any kind of, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, all the wrongdoings if they are trying to pinpoint, at least they should pinpoint precisely, as I've already spoken in that, you know, uh, in that debate, they should pinpoint precisely whoever is corrupted, you know, they should be accountable for it. Well, he also said that the BJP is only talking about corruption in the district councils but is silent over alleged irregularities in the health department. They have already said they will put it in the law either. But suppose if it happens to be the, you know, uh, the MDC from the BJP, then it will reflect them only. You never know. There are BJP MDC, you know, uh, 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 you know NPP MDC. It's a coalition, uh, you know, uh, MDC there. Here also, we have a coalition government. When we talk about the corruption, why only talk about the corruption from the district council? Talk about the you know health corruption also. You see, we have seen last time, uh, people were uh, pointing at the COVID-19 and all. So, uh, it's the, you know, uh, minister is BJP only. Got it? It's the BJP only. So, it doesn't look nice actually.